Hey guys, so I want to talk about uh, brackets for these IPS screens real quick. Um, last I left you, I had used one of Funny Playing's brackets in this kit here, this white one that I had printed. Uh, unfortunately, turns out there was a little bit of an issue with it. As you can see, it left a, a crack in my console. Now let me get this torn apart and let's discuss what happened and why it happened. And uh, we'll discuss what what's being done about it going forward. Um, so part of the issue, full disclosure, might have just been that I had crank, crack, cranked the screw down way too tight. And while I think that has a significant amount to do with my issue, um, I still think the issue might have been a little bit avoidable with slightly looser tolerances. I mean, don't get me wrong, this the bracket is absolutely fantastic. It's just, I'm using an odd combination of OEM and aftermarket shells that the bracket wasn't necessarily designed with in mind. Um, so let's take a look here. And just to make my life easier, I'm just going to desolder these. While I'm in here working on this. Sorry, popping screws out out of frame. Oh, still out of frame that one, huh? Okay. Not strictly necessary because the ribbon is staying in, at least not the touchpad. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the motherboard out for now. And yeah, you can see here that I removed the bracket. And that is certainly an option once you've got the screen centered. If you're using the adhesive, the bracket's going to hold it in anyway. But if we pop this back in, careful not to completely ruin the wire for our touch sensor here. And then take the motherboard and slot it into place. You could see in this top corner here where the motherboard rests on the bracket, right? I think that's what my problem was and just tightening the screw down just tweaked it enough to crack it right there. Now I did already talk to, uh, I believe it is Alex over at Funny, uh, not Funny Playing, Retro Modding. Um, you know, let him know that I had an issue with it. You know, get, get his opinion on the matter. And uh, you know, he picked my brain for a little bit. I told him what I thought the issue was. And if we take a look here, we can see the bracket is about 5.15 millimeters thick. And if we probe the amount of space in here. We got four point about four point five. So looking at it now, I really think that's what the issue is. But anyway, I went ahead and sent me an STL to try out. And if we take a look at the thickness on this one, you can see it's quite a bit thinner at four point six five. So it might still be just a hair thick, but I don't think it's going to cause any issues if we drop this in here. And oh yeah, that's right. I um, I had originally skipped a step when I was trimming my shell. I was supposed to trim the power switch area. I ended up trimming the bracket in the end. I still haven't trimmed the power switch area and I don't really think I can with the screen in there, but it is what it is. I'll have to trim the, the bracket. I'll go ahead and throw a link to uh, Retro Modding's screen install guide. Uh, they have a really good guide on how to trim this up real nice and neat. Um, but we can see here the 
bracket goes much deeper than the screw post. So I think if I were to trim this area up and leave this in here, I would have no further problems. I mean, at this point, the damage is already done, so it is what it is, but this looks a lot better. Um, I believe they're going to be updating their Thingiverse page. I probably need to let them know that this is working perfectly for me, but by the time this video goes up, uh, the updated bracket will be live and you can download it from their Thingiverse, which I will also throw a link to. Or if you don't have a 3D printer, you can buy a printed one straight from them. Come in. Come in. Okay, I'm not getting it. It's not coming. But otherwise, folks, the folks over there are really good, really nice. Um, and I'm, I'm just astounded that they jumped on the opportunity to help me out, even though I still think it was partially my own doing. Uh, but anyway, while I have this open, since I got my new 1.3 brackets, I want to test this out, see how well it fits. It should. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. So that looks like a perfect fit as well. That's good. Okay. So this will work too. Um, and I'll go ahead and throw a link to these. I'll create a GitHub repo for them and I'll upload them to Osh Park. You can order them from Osh Park. I forget the price for these ones in specific. If you order this and the DMG bracket, it's 12 bucks. If you order just the DMG bracket, it's 12 bucks. If you order just this bracket, it's less, but I just, I don't know how much offhand. Um, but either way, I'll throw a link to this. You can order these. I think it's going to work out a little bit cheaper, especially if you need more than one bracket. But the uh, retro modding bracket also positions on the top as well to make sure it's, it's centered up and down, not just left and right. Um, but there you go. I think that'll, that'll do it. Um, I'll have to update the text because I put do not eat on there as a joke and you can actually see it through the front of the shell. I'm not too worried about it right now, but yeah, I put that on there. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll update that so you can't see it through the front of the shell in case you want to leave it installed. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a link to that and we should be good to go. Um, otherwise, if you're watching this video to see how these brackets work, that's exactly it. You drop the bracket in, uh, and then you can place the screen in there, lining it up against the bracket. Um, if you're using the retro modding bracket, you can attach this to your screen with a small strip of double-sided tape here and here, and that'll attach the back of the screen, and then you can, you can line it up from there. Just make sure you do the actual shell trim properly. Uh, and then from there, just continue with your install like normal. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night.